Hello Miners, Rusty coming at you. Today we're going to take a look at a Marbles gift set, number nine or 296. I believe I got this off of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Comes with a clasp knife, and I'm going to do some other clasp, clasp knives. And a compass, and the compass came in a nice little pouch here with all these, you know, the pop pouch. So we'll get started at that compass. Move this out of the way. It's got some, so I don't know why. Looks like you can spin it. It's got the marbles and I'm not sure. I'll set that so north should be mm, in this area if I have to take a guess. It looks like it's settling kind of on that. I'm gonna set it off to the side, give it a chance to stop spinning and we'll go ahead and take a peek at this knife. Now this knife was not this color when I got it. Um, it was green, however, it was also largely white. I'm gonna stop now and let insert some pictures. Okay, so you can see I added some color. Now I wanted to keep, I didn't want to mess, it had green in it and I didn't really want to cover it with anything. And by the way, the compass is pointing north. So hey, it works. But I didn't want to, you know, if you go with another color, color you still have that green to cover. Uh, so I went with green. What I really did was just mix blue and yellow. So I don't have any green. So let's take a peek, got some nice, bolsters here. You got these what you would call rings or lined bolsters. Fit and finish seems okay. I'm guessing this is bone. That's what I really, but it's got an interesting, you know, texture to it. Oh, it's a white-tailed deer. Well, gee whiz. Okay. Okay, and then there's another deer here. I didn't even realize that. Uh, the clasp knife, if you Google clasp knife, you're going to get knives that have a clasp that folds around often with the British and the military. Uh, but with this one, <clears throat> they call them clasp knives. I really think it's because you don't need this nail nick. You can clasp the knife. Now, I could be wrong on that, but they're traditionally going to have this large clip point. And this is large, but not that large. I'll bring, I'll do a comparison someday and show you some other clasp knives that I have. And we got the Marbles Quality Knives, Marbles Tank Stamp, and the um, model number, of course, China. I can tell you, feels decent. It's got a thin blade. The whole knife, yeah, it wasn't. I kind of broke the peanut more than it cut it. Uh, because it's a single bladed knife, it's thin. It's got a nice curvature. It's a little small for my hands, but uh, you can kind of move up right there and, you know, kind of do some work. Should be 440A and I'm not really sure how how well it holds an edge or anything, but it's more of sort of a gift type knife. Um, I think what I'll do, since I have one close by, bring out a case trapper, which would have a four inch frame. And you guys can kind of see the size comparison on that. Which isn't even in the same league really and then I'll go ahead and bring out my rat one just because it doesn't make it hasn't made it in, in enough videos lately so kind of trying to go you know pivot to pivot although the pivot would be under that bolster so we're just gonna go blade at kind of where the Handle ends and the blade starts so you guys can get a look at that. 
and that's what we're looking at with those this of course being a more modern knife and this one I didn't discuss this it got quite a bit of a spring there okay so if we do pull it or grab it it's a solid seven and a half it feels a bit gritty I believe I rinsed it out and I hope I oiled it a bit but it'll break in for me this will probably stay as some sort of um, novelty piece looks like we got trees in the background there let's see if we have yeah we got a big deer on there but we don't have any idea of what this looks like so I think we got something on the box here a little bit of history about the company maybe you guys can pause and read that okay we're gonna keep these short so thanks for tuning in